Well, according to the CDC, nearly 40% of adults 18 and older in Smith County are hypertensive or they have high blood pressure. As KLTV7's Lauren Tier reports, there is a brand new minimally invasive procedure to help treat high blood pressure, and it could be available here in East Texas as soon as next year. East Texas is really a ground zero for hypertension. Cardiologist Dr. Frank Nevetta says there are many reasons people develop high blood pressure in this area. With obesity prevalence, sleep apnea is a highly uh, common cause. There are hormonal issues. There are people who have problems with their kidney arteries being potentially blocked and limiting blood flow, which then triggers a cascade, which maintains hypertension and makes it more difficult to control. And as of recent, the only relief came from medications. The medications, first they, they have to get the medications, which sometimes is, is a problem. Then they have to take them as prescribed, which is sometimes a problem. And there has never been really a procedure to kind of help with the medical management. Until doctors with the Spiral Affirm study developed a minimally invasive surgery called renal denervation. Renal denervation is a procedure where we actually go inside the main kidney arteries with a catheter, which is a small tube that we place from the femoral artery in the groin. And once we get inside access to the artery, we have a catheter which delivers radio frequency energy to the wall of the kidney arteries. Radio frequency energy is basically heat. The hope is that the disruption in the nerve impulses between the organs can help manage a person's blood pressure. However, he says it is not a permanent solution. You will likely still need to take blood pressure medications at some point, but the thought is that if you're having trouble achieving a goal blood pressure, this on top of your baseline medication may be able to bring you to a goal level where you will achieve the benefit of reducing risk. They are expecting the catheter and procedure to be FDA certified within the next year. Lauren Tier, KLTV 7 News. And Dr. Nevetta has already performed this procedure six times. To be eligible for this study, you have to be older than 18 and have a blood pressure of 140 or higher.